Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Now, as promised, I wanted to do a video just featuring this cool little diorama that came with the Hot Toys Spider-Man 3 Spider-Man figure some years ago. But it does suit Batman quite well. And I'm going to go through not all my Batman figures, but some of them. Because some of them are not the most articulated, you know, they were maybe when they were first released, but as time has gone on, like I'm thinking the Michael Keaton 89 uh, Hot Toys Batman figure, the posability in that one is pretty much non-existent now. But I'm going to try quite a few of them. And I love the way this looks. This is the Armory Dark Knight uh, Batman, Christian Bale obviously from 2008 Dark Knight movie. This is the last version that Hot Toys produced in 1-6 scale of the Dark Knight suit. And it's absolutely incredible. So very simple one with this pose. Nothing major going on. I just wanted to capture that kind of stance that he has in the Dark Knight when he's on top of the building. And he's just kind of uh, listening to the, the police um, frequency, whatever, listening in to see if the Joker had struck again. So I really love the way that looks. He's got a custom cape on him. I believe that was the Jackson XU cape. We'll just turn it a little bit here as you can see the armory batman is absolutely flawless it's it's absolutely perfect they really fine-tuned the likeness uh, and basically shrunk down what they'd done just earlier with their quarter scale version which is absolutely phenomenal and then they went back and revised things a little bit from the dx12 and just basically perfected the actual likeness of christian bale underneath the cowl and any little things that you're tweaking on the Dark Knight suit itself. The cape wasn't fantastic as usual when it comes to the, the Dark Knight line by Hot Toys. Some of the capes are pretty good for the Batman figures, but this one definitely needed a custom cape. So that is how the Armory Dark Knight Batman by Hot Toys looks. So I might go straight to the Batman Begins Toy Fair exclusive now. Maybe just show a couple more angles of this because that posture there with the leg putting his weight on here as it comes up that looks nice and natural so that is a pretty cool pose for him he's got good balance as well cape looks awesome let's just bring him round this way see how he looks from this angle again it's really impressive and from a bit of skew good and the front yeah, the front looks really good but I do think the best angle for this particular figure in this particular pose on this particular diorama base is that angle right there yeah that's a winner all right now here we have the Batman Begins Toy Fair exclusive by Hot Toys but he has had a fair few changes to him if you're familiar with the channel, you already know what those changes are, but just quickly, it's got the Jackson XU cape, which was originally intended for the Dark Knight suit, but it does work on this one as well. Uh, Resprayed the cowl matte black, uh, reattached the cape clips to the cowl in the correct-ish position, uh, did swap the boots from the Toy Fair exclusive really rubbery Hot Toys boots to the Medicom Dark Knight 1-6 scale boots, which are more of a kind of plasticky vinyl, uh, which don't attract dust. So, massive shout out to Derek Fagan, out there in uh, California, I think it was, out there in Sully, California. Thank you so much, Derek, for sending this my way. Absolutely cherish and love this piece. I did own it many years ago, but I can't remember the reason now, but I did sell it and always missed it. So there it is, perched atop the base, cape flowing down naturally. Just one hell of a presence, the Batman Begins suit. As you know, my favorite suit from a favorite film. Absolutely incredible. All right, just tweaked the uh, cape a little bit. I wanted to kind of more just windswept across this side. And I did crunch him in a fair bit to kind of get more of a kind of beastly look by just kind of crunching in the ab section to get him to lean forward. So if you see it from the side, you see he's kind of crunched in a bit. Also gives the neck an even thicker look. So you gotta kind of get the neck movement, give the illusion of that with crunching the actual torso in on itself, get it to lean in. 
I love this figure. I love this look. It's truly badass. Look at that. That looks seriously cool on that face. Oh! No, no. Alright, mate. Where's he going? I wanted to do something way more cool with this, but I can't actually get the the thigh to kind of lift up. I wanted to get him kind of taking a knee on top of the rock here, just kind of surveying uh, what was below him. Maybe about to leap down and strike, but I wasn't quite able to get him into that kind of position. So just to include him, not very impressed with this one myself, folks. So I think it's pretty bog standard. But there he is, Bruce Wayne, League of Shadows, Batman Begins, standing on the rock. All right, Michael Keaton, Batman here. A nice wired custom cape to give us a little bit of life in a figure that otherwise wouldn't be up to much because the arm articulation is no more. The thick rubber suit has, uh, well, had its way. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but the arms just basically, they won't bend anymore. They um, they do, but they would just the rubber suit would just bend it straight again instantly so you do kind of need some kind of uh, animation here so we get that from the wired cape that gives us a bit of life in an otherwise pretty statuesque piece uh, however it's you know it's still such a good looking figure by hot toys really movie accurate very lifelike uh, you can take some really realistic looking pictures of this guy and you could definitely fool a few people out there into thinking it's really keaton in the suit so let me just tweak this cape pose a little bit because that's very rushed. Let me see if I can get something a little bit more dynamic going on. Yeah, I just basically made it a little bit more windswept. But Michael Keaton Batman with the wired cape looks awesome. I do like that. A few more little tweaks. I'm glad I did that because that just looks more random as wind, you know. He's just blowing it. He's, uh, he's obviously high up, maybe on top of, uh, you know, church or something. And the wind is really kind of just blowing around him. So the cape movement is a little bit more chaotic. And I think that sort of captures that quite nicely. So I do like the way that looks. I'm going to take a couple of pictures, put them on the gram. So make sure you're following your boy, D Night Free Free Free, over on the gram. And don't miss out on any of the pics that will be landing shortly on said uh, website sorry another little tweak just brought that side out a little bit more but that is seriously nice i'm just taking some snaps i can't stop taking pictures of it from different angles that's the thing when it comes to photography when you find a sweet pose like obviously from the front looks great but then you've got to hit it from underneath you know from down below mm, not so much coming from above not really liking that, but dead on from the front, below, slightly askew from below. That looks menacing as hell. That's awesome. Uh, this side is also nice. The way that light up there on the ceiling is kind of creating a nice kind of glow. I do love the way that looks. So it's a damn shame now. I've got to put him just back in the museum pose and have the cape just flowing down straight because otherwise it will throw the whole, sh the whole shelf off. But that is a damn shame to change that because that just that brings new life to an old piece it really does that's an old figure man I had it since day one uh i think day one almost well not day one um but yeah like, oh that looks so good it looks so good it's hard to stop filming to be honest it just just looks absolutely amazing that might be the show stealer i didn't expect the very statuesque and not very posable anymore DX89 Michael Keaton Hot Toys Batman figure to steal the show in this particular video, but look at that man. There's no denying. That is awesome. Alright. Alright, well I promise I'll stop filming it now and I'll move on to something else, but I just did another little tweak to this side. Just that's the thing, man. You you think you nailed it and then you just do a little tweak. It just looks better. It looks way better. Now, like I said, it's a shame to ruin this pose that i got going on here and just put him museum style back on the shelf again so maybe uh, i'm going to keep him aside maybe just uh, so that when i do the next room tour video we've still got this rocking somewhere um, maybe i can make space 
uh, in the Batman Begins section, obviously, which is a bit crammed. I don't know where I would fit him over there right now. Um, and obviously over there is kind of full as well. Just got the... Um, I was going to do another Joker video, but I think I've been bringing you guys a lot of Joker stuff. But that is actually the other uh, setup that I finished last night. If you know uh, the channel, then you know that I've just uh, tried a cool combination. Should I show you that pose? I think I should. I should probably show you that pose. I'll show you this pose as well. Look at that. That's with the toy center outfit. Uh, and he's holding his card. Uh, explaining about his laughter. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. There's Ruby. But this is how I'm currently posing the figure that I showed you yesterday. So he's looking good, doing a little dance. I just wanted to find a way to show a bit of white sock because I just like seeing the white socks. It's just another little piece of the outfit complete. Uh, so he's having a little dance. And he's got the uh, cigarette in the mouth still. So I'm pretty happy with that from all angles. Yep, that looks really good. So, next thing I'll do probably soon is try and repose everything and uh, get a big pose session room tour for you. They're always nice and meaty and chunky, so bring you some of that. But yeah, that's how that's looking. Oh, how's he looking from the back? Whoa! That's pretty sweet. So that's how it looks from that view. But yeah, I'm digging this one. I wasn't sure what to do. That is the... Um, toy center outfit on the M toys body which is slightly smaller than the toy zero body over there so I wasn't sure if this would work but it actually doesn't look too bad pretty happy with that especially from that angle looks really good so all right that looks amazing I love it really really cool so I'm going to set him aside somewhere and try not to ruin that cape pose because I want to display that for a little while, man. That's too good not to display. Look at that. Yeah, sometimes you just got to make space for something badass. All right. Grudgingly moving on because I could just keep filming this all night, to be honest. Such an awesome piece. Still to this day. One of those, and uh, you know, just undeniable masterpieces by Hot Toys. Very accurate. The likeness to Michael Keaton is undeniable. And even though the rubber is, you know, stopping any arm articulation these days, it's still holding up. Like, there's no actual damage to my rubber suit on this. It's still tough as day one. So, really is uh, quite similar to, I think, just a shrunk down version of what he really wore. You know, it's very thick. Well, not very thick, but it's definitely thick enough. Let's put him away for now. All right, we have another potential show stealer here from an unlikely duo. I'm sure many people would kind of um, not even... Well, their mind wouldn't really go to Medicom these days. You know, when it comes to 1-6 scale, high-end collectibles, hot toys, sideshow, blitzway, all that good stuff. You know, Medicom really brought us some good stuff back in the day, man. Their 1-6 scale Dark Knight figure from 2008 Dark Knight movie is still to this day a really great looking piece. And this is the Medicom Hush Batman and Medicom Hush Catwoman together. And I absolutely love the way this looks. Again, I'm a little bit frustrated knowing that I can't really display them like this long term. Not because of any articulation issues, but just because... You know it's gonna it's gonna mess up my whole display and i've got nowhere really to put this kind of setup right here but that looks phenomenal so i'm going to take some photographs and stick them on the gram so make sure you check me out on there guys don't forget these pictures from all angles will be going up on instagram that looks absolutely amazing oh my god <laughs> that is so cool so you've got catwoman she's holding her big diamond perched on the edge of the diorama there and Batman standing tall looking very serious and intimidating and really nice comic book uh, representation of the Dark Knight and I love the blue and grey the black bat symbol on the chest I mean that looks phenomenal now I did do some work on Batman that is not how he will look straight out of the box if you were to purchase him um, 
I changed the cape. That's actually the Hot Toys Arkham City Batman cape that's on him. Uh, and I did... Well, there's a video on it on the channel. I don't want to get into all that now. But I did a little bit of work on him to get him to look the way he does there. And I'm really, really happy with the results. I've got to take some pictures. And, yeah, that just looks amazing. So, just hit it from a few other angles. But that could be my favourite of the video. As much as I was absolutely loving the Michael Keaton with the wired cape look. And I really do love that. But this, the combination of Batman and Catwoman together. Both looking fantastic. That looks amazing. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments, guys. Because I am very happy with that. Damn shame they can't be on the shelf in that way. I need, need about 10 of these bases. And then I just put them all... Just different variations of uh, Batmans and poses on top of this diorama. It's a really, really cool one. You can split this in half and split it into two. You see how uh, there's a big... Well, you can see the lines, but it does break apart in the middle there into two. So you could... You know, you could have at least two setups. But obviously you want the height. So you put them on top of each other. All right. Well, I love that. I absolutely love that. Again, kind of grudgingly moving on now because I quite happily just keep filming this. Yeah, there's Ben Affleck, Batman from Dawn of Justice. That thing just looks mean. Just got him kind of hunched in, just leading forward, looking like a beast. Absolutely savage. Look at the bulk. That's the Unreal Customs original drape cape. It's my favorite real nice kind of leathery weight to it it's a beautiful cape it's beautiful it's a beautiful figure one of the best the hot toys have produced when it comes to batman justice league versions mighty fine too ain't gonna lie to you but i do prefer the, the more animalistic beastliness of the dawn of justice suit look at that he looks good on the base look at that it's nice. Yeah, side profile's alright. It's not as good as the Armory Dark Knight from the side with this kind of post, but he still looks awesome. Still looks hench. I like the way the light's bouncing off the top of the cow. It's nice. Now here we have my pretty heavily modified Hot Toys uh, Batman Joker Imposter or Joker Batman Imposter, I forget. But anyway, there he is. I was trying to get him to really look at his knuckles. I wanted him to be looking at the blood on his, on his, uh, on his glove there and just kind of thinking about what he might have just done. But... <sighs> oh, hello. Somebody doesn't want to stand up. Somebody's being a little bit of a naughty bastard. Right, now this one was not easy to do, and I'm not sure how long he's going to keep doing it before he falls forward. So let's just grab this one, uh, get it in the bag before gravity has its way. So yeah, that is just the, um, you know, the Batman that became the Joker. Lots of videos of him on the channel already. So, yeah, recently painted the eyes white. It gives them a really creepy vibe. Very, very awesome piece, this one. Lots of blood and state of those uh, knuckles. It's clearly been up to no good. Meat cleaver. So, there he is. That's how he's looking. That looks pretty damn savage. Savage. Now another fantastic piece here. The Hot Toys Armored Batman from Dawn of Justice. Look at him standing there. Wishing Superman to show up. <laughs> Be ready for that ass. Look at that. That's a beastly piece. So, 
nothing too crazy going on pose wise but you don't really need to with this one it's just a very 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 nice big ch chunky heavy different kind of look you know very you know much paying tribute to Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns armored suit I love the way Zack Snyder just didn't hold back with that. He's like, nope, I want to do that suit. <laughs> so he did it. It's a badass piece. There you go, folks. Standing strong. All right, Batman and Catwoman once again. This time we have the Hot Toys Arkham City Batman, which I have converted to the remastered version look from Arkham Asylum. So you've got your black and grey rather than the stock hot toys, dark blue and grey. So that was fun to do. Custom cape by Jackson XU, that rhymes. And there's Catwoman. And they look fantastic together. I love that Catwoman head sculpt. She has so much life in that face. It's a cumic Catwoman figure. Although the outfit's been changed. Still using the same crappy body, but more just an issue of trying to find a fire sin body that will match her skin tone let me just get that brightness for you but there you go you can see how good her head sculpt is i love her big green eyes it does remind me of a little bit of the arkham city catwoman that's why i always pair these two up together and it's yeah mods have been done weathering black wash big mod done to the arms so that you can get them to lie flat to the sides to make them look more natural there you go. Definitely gonna take some pictures of this before I'm putting back. There you go. That's uh, the Arkham setup. Come on, Hot Toys, please make a 1 6 scale Arkham City Catwoman. I've got a feeling if they do it, they'll probably do an you know, Arkham Knight version, which I don't, you know, I mean, I've already kind of got that covered over there with the big Prime One piece. I really they do an Arkham City version of Catwoman in 1-6 scale to go along with my Batman here and my Joker. Speaking of Joker, I might take Catwoman away and try a different version of this with Joker as well. Right, I'm just fetching Joker from the shelf, but then I saw how badass the uh, Batman looks from the back there. The cape draping behind him. It's a really awesome piece, man. I mean, it needs a fair bit of work. You know, right out of the box, it's a decent figure, but once I you know, did all the various mods, it really went to another level. Love this piece. Now, this looks fantastic. Also, this very much is inspired by those moments in Arkham Knight when you would be patrolling Gotham City and the visions of the Joker just constantly, you know, just turning up everywhere. It was fantastic. I love that about that game. There are definitely many things about Arkham Knight that frustrate me, but the Joker turning up um, various hallucinations as Batman goes about his night is very entertaining. So this is the inspiration. Well, that is the inspiration for this year. I think he looks great. Perched on the edge he's just rambling away talking about what he's looking at below while batman has no choice but to hear the ramblings of a madman because he can't get him out of his head that looks absolutely awesome definitely let me know your thoughts on this one it's a very very cool pose for both of these two again a shame can't permanently rock that because i would be very happy unfortunately space issues not allowing for such awesomeness but at least we get to chuck it in a video for you guys to enjoy and then it's on the channel catalogued just get it from a few more angles before we put it back absolutely love that gonna have to share some pics Make sure I get it from all the angles. Put it on Facebook and Instagram for y'all. That is awesome. I love that. 
And I've said it before, I'll say it again. That's definitely one of Hot Toys' very best Joker figures to date. Very, very, very satisfied with this Mark Hamill Joker in my collection, man. It's nice to have a Mark Hamill representation. Because he is definitely one of the best Jokers ever. Love his work with the animated series and the movies. But his work, his voice work in the Arkham games took it to another level, man. He just gives you 110% every time. So, massive respect to Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy. Come on, forget about it. Two of the best. This video definitely wouldn't be complete without a visit from the demon. And there it is. The Batman Begins Demon Batman by Hot Toys. With a custom velvet cape, which I really gave the full treatment to suit the more grotesque appearance of the demon Batman or the demon vision that Scarecrow would see after a taste of his own medicine so that is one of my prized possessions say it before or say it again you don't see too many people with the demon Batman in their collection not enough love out there for the best Batman film ever made we usually go to the Dark Knight. I'm sure that's pretty much down to the amazing performance from Heath Ledger as the Joker. Take that away, what have you got? An inferior film to Batman Begins. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to uh, poke the fire, but definitely uh, one of those guys that does believe rather firmly that Batman Begins is the best film of the trilogy. Not just that, but one of the best superhero films ever made. There you go. There he is. Perched. Waiting. For your soul. Now there is the Nightmare Batman from Dawn of Justice. Now I didn't really change his pose from how it was displayed on the shelf over there. Just literally picked him up and plonked him down on the diorama base here. Just to include him in the video because he is so different from everything else and quite a sought after piece he goes for big money now on the secondary market and you don't really don't really see Hot Toys making this guy again why would they? they got it right the first time well, I say that but the jacket did need replacing thank you to 16kit.com let me hit that brightness for you it's a little bit too bright there we go yeah it's an awesome, awesome piece one of the best scenes in the film and there are many but that is a very badass moment from the film. So there you go. Nightmare Batman by Hot Toys. Custom jacket by 16kit.com Alright folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video. going to finish things up here with something nice and simple. That's the Hot Toys Batman Returns Batman figure with a custom cape. I believe this one's by Jackson also. It's hard to keep track of all the different custom capes because I do, you know, gathered a few over the years. But it was absolutely necessary with this particular figure. The stock cape that came with this guy is a nightmare. So you've got to get yourself a custom one. So it hangs nice and naturally like this. Just a beautiful material. And you can see the texture on there. Really well done. He's just standing perfectly. Looking absolutely badass. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I might bring you another one of these uh, using other DC characters. Like maybe, you know, got plenty of joke. Well, I don't know. I don't know if uh, Heath Ledger Joker would look good standing on something like this. I just can't really see it. But Wonder Woman, Superman, maybe a few others. We'll see. Let me know if you've got any ideas in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to bust something out for you and thank you to the uh, new patrons who came along recently don't forget guys on patreon you have uh, every right you know seeing as you're helping this channel stay alive every right to message me and give me ideas for videos or make requests and i'm more than happy to do that for you so thank you to all you guys for your support thank you guys for watching drop a like on the video make sure you subscribe keep it locked plenty more coming at you stay safe and i'll see you real soon take it easy Bye-bye.